It was so fair, fair in the country. The sun joyfully was shining. Old was the grain, the sweet fragrant hay lay gathered in stacks. Cracked into the world, see the world, see the light, oh how great, oh how bright. The last duckling popped out, oh thing so very ugly, no feathers on long skinny legs. Looks more like a Turkey chick said one duck as he stared in amazement. Then off they marched to the barnyard, and Mama Duck said, Behave yourselves, my darlings, all the time. Always keep your feet very straight, she cautioned, and never felt to bow down low to that Spanish duck. He's old and famous, see the tape he's wearing. That's the highest honor any duck can ever get. The ducklings bowed respectfully to the Spanish duck. Then quickly they scattered, making friends with the animals living on the farm. Meanwhile, the poor ugly duckling was having an awful, awful hard time. He was mocked and laughed at. Everyone chased him all over. They even wished the big old tomcat would be in all up. Roosters went peck, 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 peck. Ducks went pip, pip. People went kick, 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 kick. And a great big turkey puffed up like a sailboat in the wind. And he flew at the poor unhappy duckling. Oh, this was too much, too much to bear. Gathering all his strength, he flew over the fence. Frightened by the duckling's sudden jump, the birds rushed away, all a flutter, and the duckling thought he'd scared the birds because he was ugly. He closed his eyes in pain, and on and on he fled away, until he arrived at a marsh. There, while ducks attacked him, attacked him with all their might. Ugly, you're ugly, the duckling whirled around, bewildered as they quacked at him. Ugly, 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 he bowed to them so low, with shame and fright he touched the ground. Away, we don't want you, you don't belong to us. What, oh, what, oh, what could the poor duck? Thank you. 
When he would sit for hours within the marshy reeds, all alone and abandoned, so scared that he trembled, while rifle shots roared over him. When the hunters hunted through the forest, sometimes the jaws of a dog gaped and stretched so very close that he wept. and very strong that made him love them as he stood there. But his shyness made him afraid, for they would beat him, he thought, if he should approach, because he was ugly. Yet it was even better far to die than to go through the misery and suffering he'd gone through the winter before. the ugly darkling and the lord his head painfully waiting for the blow to fall but what did he see there in the clear water it was his reflection what he saw was not an ugly ugly darkling what a most lovely, beautiful swan. How unlucky he had been to 
Ugly duckling 